Hey there YouTube. So uh, I got a flat tire on this tractor here and I've already patched the tire. I installed a tube um, and I made this rig up here for calcium. I got a uh, 50 gallon drum here. Uh, I used to, I just got it from a farm. It's got two, uh, two bungs on it. One is a, uh, over here, this is a, um, just a two inch pipe thread. And I drilled this and tapped it for a quarter inch pipe tap for an air chuck hose type M. Over here, this bung has a, a three quarter inch female already in it. So I punctured a hole through it and just tapped this three quarter inch uh, piece here. I got a, uh, a hose off a, a washer, washing machine hose. Got two female ends. This end's a little com more complicated than it needs to be, but I got a uh, air water adapter for calcium. It's got a, um, a little air pressure um, relief valve here that you push onto it, let the air back out. Uh, had to make this because I didn't have one. And this is just another three quarter inch, just like that, which really I could have just put that here without the 90. Then over here, I would have put a um, another one without a 90. So um, if you're doing this, uh, you can make it a little more simple have a three quarter inch T. And then I have to have an adapter here for a three quarter inch um, male pipe thread into a, uh, a male garden hose fitting. And this also has a internal half inch pipe thread female in it and I have a, a pipe going down all the way to the bottom here this, that's half inch and I, I cut it to length and I sealed the uh, bungs up so I'm going to pressurize this open the valves close this one and uh, calcium is going to go and fill the tire up it's going to get up to 25 psi once that happens I got to shut my valves off here and open this one relieve the pressure back down to zero and restart so that's all it really takes to um, fill the tires up. So I'll just uh, show it over here. So I'm closing this valve up here. I've got my regulator down to 25 PSI. I'm going to hook it in here. Opening this up. Make sure that's Leaking, so that's good. I'm actually going to turn my regular down a little bit. It's a little hard to see, but uh, down in here, you can see if the calcium is going down. We just don't want to overfill it. There. Close the one valve, open the other. You can hear the air coming out. So we know it's um, not overpressuring. See, that's a little too full. Let's 
See, the problem is they just leak a lot of calcium, so you just you do need to add another hose out into a bucket. I'm just going to let this, uh, this deflate here. I've got my regulator over here. That's turned right off, so... I think I do need to add a pressure gauge in here. That's kind of being cheap. Cost me about a hundred bucks. Could do it for less too. You don't really need a valve right here. But you do need one there. I'm gonna close this back up. Looks like I'm getting pretty low here. I started up in here. pressure now. some of this pressure now I think actually I'm gonna back feed a little bit I think I got way too much pressure in this thing that's getting down there actually I can leave that open and open this one This is what it sounds like when you're done. You can wiggle this a little bit. A little more in there we can get. Well, that's it for the video. I hope this helps someone. A lot more simple than it uh, you might think it is. So, thanks for watching.